All right, what's the chip of the day? The chip of the day is an INA114. Pretty fancy part. It's a burr brown part, so you know it's good. It is a instrumentation amplifier. So I think I talked about instrumentation amplifiers on a different video, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> Maybe when I was talking about op amps, but this is a differential amplifier. It has two op amps that buffer the incoming signal, so you have very, very high impedance on the input. And, uh, and then it goes into a diff amp. So it's three op amps in one package. And because you have a diff amp and you have nice high impedances, it has very good common mode rejection and uh, very good uh, specs here, as we can see. Low offset voltages, low drift, low bias current, um, great input protection. So it's, it's, it's an instrumentation amplifier. It's kind of a workhorse. And applications, bridge amplifiers, thermocouple amplifiers. Um, so real fine little uh, details that you're that you're interested in. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use it as a bridge amplifier, okay? And I have a bridge and we're going to amplify it. So uh, here is our our chip. Um, power and ground, I have plus and minus 12. Uh, I have, where's my pen? Let's see here. I have uh, I have this grounded, and this is the out, and this will be our input. All right. So we're going to take a, a diff we're going to amplify something differentially, and then we're going to amplify it out. The nice thing about this uh, type of system is this resistor sets the gain, uh, just one resistor, and uh, it, uh, it it makes it quite quite nice. These are all 25k as well, 25 and 25k. So if this is a 10K, then you have a gain of two and a half, something like that, right? So I've put a potentiometer here that I can dial up and make get a, a, lots of nice gain, but we want to be measuring a bridge. So what is a bridge? A uh, bridge is uh, four resistors and a square. And we have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two points and we're going to send one to this and we're going to send one to this. So we're going to be measuring the differential voltage in this bridge. So if everything is balanced, there'll be no voltage difference across these two things. But if one of these resistors goes a little bit funny, then there'll be a voltage difference. And uh, so what is that magic bridge we're going to measure? Well, it's going to be this. Um, uh, I got this at an estate sale and uh, well, it was given to me actually, but uh, this is part of the stuff that I got. It's a force transducer, model MB25170, capacity 25 foot-pounds. So, um, And the way that these work is there's uh, some holes here and you bolt these down and then you push on this here and this can slide up and down and it changes the re resistance of this bridge. And so that's going to be our that's going to be our input. So I'm going to put it in a vise here and I'll be able to push down on it. All right, so here, oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, didn't have my, my uh, tripod to, to uh, secure there. Anyway, so here's our, here's our input here. We're gonna have a amplifier and stuff. For, for what we're first gonna do though is we're gonna look at the bridge directly. I'm gonna put a, 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 a voltmeter on the bridge directly, okay? And we will take a look at the, those values. And we're getting about uh, 0 0.059 millivolts, so 59 microvolts. And as I push down on it, we can get a few millivolts out of it, okay? So that's not a lot of voltage. If you're going to run that into an A to D, that's just not going to make it. You need, you need a couple volts to run it into an A to D. And so uh, what we're going to do is instead of measuring the bridge directly will measure the output of the amplifier. All right, so now we'll measure the output of the amplifier. And we have gain. So we have a little bit of offset now because of the gain, 22 millivolts. And now when I push it down, I can get many volts. And so instead of just a few millivolts, I'm getting, you know, three volts. And so that's a fine signal to put into an A to D. 
And so that's, that's the great, a great application uh, for this thing. Um, there are real fancy chips these days. Just, you, you can get these things just on one chip. It has the, it has the uh, instrumentation amplifier and a voltage regulator for the, for the bridge, and it has an A to D converter, and it's I squared C, and you just buy the whole thing and put it on your Arduino and you're done. Um, so a, a lot of, I get a lot of comments. It's like, uh, well, why don't you just buy one of those, right? Well, you know, playing with Arduinos is great, it's a great hobby and it's fine and you can do lots of cool stuff with it. But if your goal is to learn electronics, especially analog electronics, you're not going to learn anything by using those chips, nothing. Um, but by uh, trying to build one yourself and seeing what the problems are and stuff and learning about these things, this is a, this is great to go back. Um, you know, it, 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 don't, don't ignore the old school stuff because you'll learn a lot more from it. <laughs> All right, quick video. That was the uh, INA114 instrumentation amplifier. There's a whole bunch of different types of instrumentation amplifiers, but uh, I'm lucky to have a, a few of these to play with, and uh, they seem like great parts.